Hey guys, welcome back to Cam's Custom Backgrounds. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I made this. Now, this is for Bearded Dragon, uh, the actual same Bearded Dragon as um, my previous red one that I did. This tank here is a 1200 long, 600 high, all custom built-in background, all kitted out, ready to go. They've just got to add their own lights and and heats and things like that. So I'll uh, I'll take his along. I'll show you how I built this. And um, first things first, make sure you clean your tank down uh, using a glass cleaner of some kind. I use Metho. Step one is going to be taping everything up, and um, then get stuck into it. Now it's not a not an easy process. Hopefully these videos that I'm making are helping you guys. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from uh, my Facebook channel, or Facebook page, sorry, uh, and obviously in the comments below. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this content, um, please let me know in the comments down below. Hit up my Facebook page, Cam's Custom Backgrounds. Um, love hearing from you guys. If I'm, oh, you want to see something different, you want to see me do something different, please let me know. I am still learning. Uh, with videoing and all that sort of stuff. So please let me know how I'm going What you'd like to see what you'd like to see more of and more in depth of um, But yeah Hope you enjoy the video hit that subscribe button hit that like button and um, Yeah, we'll get stuck into it Just a quick look at taping here. This is just taping purely so that the foam doesn't go everywhere. Um, once I've foamed everything, I will tape up all the glass around the foam prior to um, prior to using the point uh, pointing. You can see there all the mesh is covered now. There is nothing getting in there. No foam, no anything, and I will be able to cut that out later. I'll just give you a quick look over here. Uh, I didn't film it because I was just plodding along doing things, so um, I just started shaping this up uh, as a bit of a structure through the mill. Uh, like I was saying before, I am going to have this as a tunnel. I will have expanding foam and everything over the back, along the front, and then I will do that um, basking rock over in this corner and uh, blend it all together. All right, there we have it guys. Basking rock is glued in place. The structure for the tunnel is in place and I'll just chuck that little rock down the back there to just sort of give me a bit of a guide when I'm doing the foam you know I don't really want to come much further than that um, but that's it it's the basic layout this one's gonna end up being rather low um, because they have their um, UV in a cage and the basking in a cage so I didn't want to build it up too high all right here we are a day later um, as you can see, all of that Gorilla Glue that I put on, it's expanding. Um, this one here, rock solid, we're stuck to the glass severely. Um, you won't get that back off very easily, which is good. That's what we're aiming for. That one there, same deal, rock solid. So I'll set you up on the tripod and um, we'll start getting some foam in. Alright, that's all I get to do today. Uh, I thought I would have had enough foam to do it, but it's using a lot more than I thought, so I'll let this expand and um, we'll get some more cans and we'll get back into it.
second attempt got myself some more cans so that's the one that I use there um, you can use the one without the gun which that's the gun you can buy the sicker flex gun or the sicker gun as well Righto. there we have it foam in place now I don't know if you've noticed in the video there but that big giant blob that was up there didn't quite attach too well and it's now down on the ground so I'll probably I'll end up just cutting all of that away exposing that bit of insulation foam again and also we'll be cutting a lot around this mesh which I am so grateful that I covered it all up in the first place um, tunnel again I'll be cutting a fair bit of that back but this is just giving me a good base. I'm going to cut a lot of this stuff back um, to try and get some shapes. But if you can sort of visualize sort of what I'm seeing here, is there going to be another platform there? And then what I'm sort of thinking is all the way across this line here is going to be another shelf. And then I may end up cutting it back into there and shaping it back down to the ground. But that's it. guys here we are all carved out all taped up excuse the light coming through the back there but everything is ready to go for pointing now i'll just got to clean out a little bit of this gunk that's in here i have gone over the entire thing brushed it off with my hand got the vacuum all over the whole thing and taken out any of the loose stuff uh you will still find that as you're doing the first coat anyway but that's um yeah it's just something that you just sort of deal with unfortunately with foam well, you've got little pieces like this stuck in here so um i've also gone ahead and taped around the external so that I can treat the outside of the glass later. You can see that there. So yeah, the next step is first coat of pointing. Now, like I said before, this one is going to be brick red um, with the sand base pointing. So we'll see how that one turns out. All right, guys, here we are for coat number one. Uh, again, this is a watered-down mix. Um, pretty much the consistency of cake batter, I suppose. You should be able to spread it on. Don't be alarmed if it doesn't coat completely. Uh, it's only the first coat. It's only like, almost like a priming layer. It'll, um, you know, fill in a lot of these tiny little holes and things like that, so... Uh, yeah, I'll set you up on the tripod and we'll get stuck into it. All right, here it is. This is the sort of consistency you're going for. You can see there it's, you know, it's a bit runny. And we're just going to simply start painting it on.
All right, here's first coat. Like I said before, it's not gonna be perfect. You're still gonna have holes everywhere, anything like that. It is at this stage that if you go too heavy in your crevices, you won't be able to dig them out later. So make sure you've got enough in there that gets a coat on. That way, if you do end up digging some out later in the future coats, you've still got that initial hard layer. That same process goes for um, second coat as well. So get um, yeah, get it on nice and thin, and um, yeah, make sure you get coverage on all of the internals, your crevices. Righto, second coat is complete. You can see that it has covered a lot more. Um, you don't have all those tiny little holes anymore. The surface is very rough still. Uh, I'll just go over that quickly uh, later on after it's dry and take any of the big lumps and stuff off. But um, it's coming together pretty good so far. Yeah, sorry about that guys. Due to technical difficulties again, I forgot to hit play. Um, so you won't see me doing a time lapse of third coat, but um, I will leave you uh, with a bit of footage that I did get of me going over it with a dry brush after I'd applied everything and smoothing it all out, getting it all looking natural and less put on by hand. Um, so yeah, I'll roll a time lapse of that and um, bring you back when we're doing some I've gone through over this with a brush and I also went over everything um, with you can see there darker pointing I'll blend that a bit more with the um, with the paint but um, I just went through and tried to just do a bit darker in certain spots just to see how it would come out um, it seemed to come out all right but you're getting this sort of it's sort of hard to pick up, I'll try and block the light out. You sort of get this blotchy, blotchy look across there. Um, I tried to sort of fade it out as much as I could, but you can see it more down here. You just get this sort of grainy looking finish, so I'll blend all that properly with, um, with the paint later on, but here we are. Alright guys, here we are, ready for painting. Uh, it's been close to a week since I actually did my third coat, um, battling a cold thanks to uh, kids. So here we are finally um, ready for paint. I've stripped all of the tape off, got my paints here ready to go, got my airbrush ready to go. I will be going over later with... Um, just some um, really watered down black paint and <clears throat> do all the little crevices, things like that. I may even just use a dark brown paint. Um, not sure yet. We'll just see what I come up with as I go. So I'll chuck you up on the tripod and we'll get this thing painted.
right, there we have it. It's all finished. This one came up better than I thought it would, especially um, with using no black paints on the top. Um, so quite happy with the way this one turned out. It's a bit different to some of the other sort of red walls I've done in the past. It's a lot darker. But um, overall, pretty happy with it. So can't complain with that one. Uh, next step is got to treat the outside of the glass here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might um, I might just paint it black. To be honest, this time around, um, there's not a lot that needs to be covered up, so I'll probably just end up painting it black. And um, next step after that is to get it all kitted out. And um, I'm going to call it a night there, though, and have a crack at it tomorrow. Let this dry. So I'll catch this tomorrow when I um, set you up to deck this thing out. Um. Thanks for watching the video guys this one's been quite uh, enjoyable uh, lots of little hiccups along the way uh, I had the corner of the foam falling down I had bits and pieces down the bottom of here that just constantly leached out um, a wet expanding foam every time I cut it so those sort of things just there's little problems that you just overcome it just yeah it puts a little bit of a halt on things but at the end of the day it still comes out looking just as good. So just little learning curves that you've got. So excuse the the length between videos on these ones, guys. I try and try and get these tanks done in sort of two weeks and things like that. I, I'm a full-time chippy. I, you know, I work all the time. I've got family, young family. So this is just my hobby, something that I like to do on the side. So I don't pump them out quickly. I like to spend a bit more time on it, getting the detail right, so these things take time. Don't rush them. Get, you know, get it right. Get it how you want it. So hit the subscribe button, and I um, would greatly appreciate the support. There's a lot of views and stuff coming in, and the subs are currently, I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out, they'll be at 200, which it doesn't seem that long ago that I hit 100, and all of a sudden it's bumped straight up to 200, so... That's awesome. Uh, Facebook page is going insane. Love the support. Again, let me know uh, if you're enjoying the videos and what you think of the backgrounds. Uh, I love doing them and I hope I can keep doing them and keep the content coming for you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.